Good morning to everybody, and uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Gustafsson, uh, thank you, Mr. Moderator, and uh, James, and uh, uh, thank you, uh, everybody, because uh, I think it's very challenging and exciting um, occasion, this one, to bring some reflections, uh, some uh, consideration on, uh, on the world of urban forestry. Um, I think I will generate more questions than solutions, but uh, I hope that uh, uh, some inspirational uh, points, some uh, uh, key aspects can come out from uh, this uh, introductory talk. Um, if we can go with the presentation, we can have a look at uh, uh, what I'm trying to uh, share with you. Um, uh, I will just go through uh, a very brief comment, uh, uh, a question, and then uh, uh, to see a, a summary on uh, uh, which are the relationship uh, between people tree and uh, uh, cities, and which are some of the benefits. Of course, I cannot speak of everything because, uh, you know, it might be that I can uh, use uh, a couple of days to do it. Uh, and then, uh, uh, finally, to, to jump to the relationship between urban forest and uh, the sustainable development goals is one of the major topics of this uh, uh, event. Um, yeah. So I, I just start from this uh, uh, part. Uh, in uh, uh, early 2018, uh, there was a, a communication uh, on a natural communication, a comment by uh, uh, Tom, uh, Theodore Andrini on uh, the strategically growing uh, the urban forest uh, uh, as an improvement of our world. So I think this is uh, it's a quite a challenging question. Uh, strategically growing the urban forest will improve our uh, world. And, uh, and so, if you have a look to the, uh, to the picture of how cities grew in the last uh, uh, 75 years, uh, how mega cities changed, which are also the uh, geographic uh, uh, zoning of mega cities in the world from uh, 1950 to uh, uh, contemporary days. We, we take an amazing picture on how mega cities uh, grew in the world. But we will never forget the fact that the major number of cities are small, medium cities. If you have uh, uh, almost 500 mega cities in the world, we got uh, more than 4,000 smaller cities. And this is a quite uh, interesting implication because very often when you speak about urban forests, about urban trees, uh, we get uh, a picture of mega cities, but we have a, a world of cities that uh, uh, is very uh, interesting in terms of uh, where people is living, which are the needs, which are the benefits that they request. Um, and even if you get a picture of uh, the forest cover in mega cities, we, we get quite many differences. We got a very, uh, uh, very low forest cover, like uh, the example of Lima in Peru, that of course is very linked to the climate uh, aspect, to the uh, environmental and ecological aspects, uh, up to the uh, uh, great cover of uh, uh, New York or Seoul, uh, Paris, Shenzhen, uh, where the forest cover constitutes more than 30% of uh, the total land cover area. Um, <clears throat> Uh, the city changes. This is a picture of Mexico City in the uh, uh, early 17th century and uh, uh, the actual city cover. Changes the environment, changes the people living there, changes the size of the cities. And, uh, and the trees are diverse from one side to the other of the world. We got uh, some Asian Chinese pictures and the, uh, the paint of, uh, a painting of the uh, 18th century of St. James Park in London, which is a diversity of forests and trees in uh, uh, our world cities. Um, 
But the benefits from urban forests are something new, because we, we speak quite a lot in the uh, last years about uh, urban forests, the benefits, uh, ecosystem services. It's coming to be a bit fashionable no? as a topic, at least in, uh, in, uh, in more academic uh, or, let's say, technical world. But are the benefits by trees in cities something new, or is a very old, old long-standing long uh, aspect we have to consider? Well, if you go through some, uh, very briefly, uh, uh, spots of history, we've got the, 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 the cities in the gardens in uh, ancient Egypt. Uh, in this picture are 19 tree species represented in the Ineni garden. Uh, the architect of Pharaoh Tutmose uh, the I, uh, 1,500 years before Christ. Uh, which benefits? If you go just the next road, you get the, the, the bath of Caracalla in Rome. Um, 10 tons of wood every day to heat the baths. That is the relationship within the city, the style of living in the cities, and the forest, the trees, the wood, the products, the resources that come from the urban and pre-urban forest. Uh, and nowadays we have uh, similar or even more dramatic pictures. 7,000 to 12,000 tons of woodland every day are burned in uh, Kinshasa, or 1,000 tons in Bangui, in sub-Saharan Africa, where uh, fuel wood is the major energy for cooking and for food security. So this is something that is, uh, uh, um, we have to consider as a benefit. But benefits, when we speak about benefits, already we are told about the shade, uh, the, the, the thermal comfort, the leisure, uh, recreation, uh, uh, having uh, uh, fun and relaxing in, uh, in the urban forest and in the parks. But there are uh, very uh, key aspects of uh, the importance of urban forests, like the one of removing or blocking pollutants in the cities. This is a quite uh, uh, important topic uh, for the policies, not only of the cities, but of the uh, states, of the nations. Uh, and uh, if we go through the ecosystem services provided by the uh, urban forest, we get uh, a picture uh, in a different part of the world. This, uh, uh, always uh, taking into consideration very strong relationship with the different uh, ecosystem services. Of course, we have differences in uh, low-income countries and high-income countries. The provisioning services are less important in uh, high-income countries, while are much more important for the um, uh, low-income countries. But the picture is quite uh, uh, and amazingly diverse all over the world. So, just have a look uh, at some examples. Of course, I will not go through uh, all the relationship uh, that we can have uh, be, uh, among urban forests and uh, the sustainable development goals. Uh, they say that, uh, generally speaking, we can say that nine sustainable development goals are more related to urban forests, or I say urban forests are more related to nine sustainable development goals. But also the other. Do we have an implication in terms of uh, interest of urban forests in sustainable development goals? Uh, like, for example, the gender equality or the quality of education or uh, the responsible consumption. Uh, okay, SDG 11, cities, clear. We don't have to, to speak too much about that. We have many relationships between SDG 11 and, city, and uh, urban forest. Uh, but if you go to uh, SDG 3, health, well, at least uh, uh, we have a, a direct relationship with uh, two targets, target 3, 4, and 3, 9, uh, that are reducing communicable diseases and uh, uh, reduce the number of death and illness from hazardous chemicals. Well, urban forest is uh, a key uh, component in uh, controlling, uh, contributing to reduce uh, this kind of uh, uh, pathologies. 
water. Uh, but water is related also to climate action. Uh, it's a, a report of a project we, we made in Bolivia uh, in the last uh, three years about planting waterscapes. So planting uh, and introducing urban per urban forestry, green infrastructure components uh, to have more water for the cities. And the city has the responsibility of the landscape. And the city has the responsibility of the land use uh, uh, destruction or of the land use changes around the cities. And so it's uh, crucial if you want to save the water for the cities to have uh, a direct involvement of the city with the community around. So we can say that uh, uh, um, we can even plant water. No, we are used to plant plants, trees, but we can plant water. Um, some of the aspects uh, or the sustainable development goals that are not included in the, in the nine uh, key ones. For example, the, uh, the development goal on uh, uh, infrastructure and responsible consumption. Using forest, engineered forest products can be a, a very good choice in terms of uh, infrastructures. Can be a very good choice in terms of saving, but having more sustainable and resilient infrastructure for the future. And uh, uh, so wooden constructions, fibers are part of this uh, topic. And uh, uh, just a last uh, example in terms of uh, uh, sustainable development goals, uh, the gender. The gender aspects. This uh, uh, um, uh, work we did in uh, Irin Eshfan in uh, Iran with some uh, uh, landscape architects from Iran. How to redesign parks to include the perceptions and the need of the community, but specifically focusing on the women need and perception. So giving uh, shelter, privacy, and uh, uh, the type of needs that uh, uh, they express as important. So, uh, uh, how does the tree talk? We can uh, just uh, make a brief, uh, a brief uh, uh, picture of, I don't go through all these topics, of course, it's just uh, for reflection for the panel. Uh, we can say that uh, we have some roots that we need, the sustainable forest management, for example, the knowledge and research, the assessment, we need uh, some very robust roots for urban forestry. We need a, a good color, a safe color. So integration, transdisciplinarity, skills. And we need a, a very good stem, growing well, strategies and governance, nice branches, leaves as education, capacity, responsibility. And finally, uh, a very you know, healthy canopy uh, with the community engagement, uh, the ecosystem services, and landscape approach. We spoke yesterday about that. So I just leave uh, with uh, this kind of recession, reflection. Uh, strategically growing the urban forest will improve our world. I generate the question, what do you think about? Thank you very much.